Hello farmers and welcome back to your number one organic poultry YouTube channel. If you are a farmer looking to hatch healthy chicks and maximize your arms productivity, then you are in the right place. Have you ever wondered how to increase the hatching rate of the eggs you incubate whether using an incubator or a broody hen? Kindly join me through this video because I am about to reveal to you the secrets to disinfecting eggs using a natural preparation that will supercharge your egg hatchability rates, one that is 100% safe and purely organic. I will tell you how to make it and a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply it to your eggs before incubation. But that's not all. In this video, I won't just stop at disinfection. I will also walk you through the crucial steps of selecting the perfect eggs for incubation. I will share essential tips and precautions that can make all the difference in your farming success story. But before we get into this video, kindly if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that every time that I post another educative video, YouTube will alert you. Also, make sure to hit that like button and also the share button because they help this video to be shown to more farmers so that they can be able to get this important information. You can also tell us where you are watching us from and leave your suggestion and questions in the comment section below. Success in egg hatching starts at the chicken coop or the chicken house because if the place where the egg is laid is not good, then the chances of that egg hatching is very low. So what should a farmer do? Number one is to ensure a good nest or laying box. Make sure that there are enough number of laying boxes for these laying hens so that you can avoid eggs dirty or even breaking them. The second thing under how to make the laying box good, you are going to provide a nesting material. Most recommended one is the straw, either the hay or the dried grass or even the wheat straw or any kind of straw. This will prevent the egg cracks as the hen lays the egg. Also, make sure that you change the litter often to avoid making the eggs dirty. The second thing is about pick the egg as soon as it is laid. It is recommended that you should pick up the eggs four times per day and this is because you eliminate those chances of the egg being made dirty or even cracking. It has been reported that you know temperatures also affect hatchability and if you leave the egg in the laying box and it is during the winter or the cold days or even in the hot days then these big temperature fluctuations or changes may affect the hatchability of that egg the third thing is about the storage make sure that when you are storing the egg in a clean egg tray make sure that the broader side of the egg is facing upwards because this broader side contains or has the air cell and this air cell is very necessary for the exchange of oxygen in and out of the egg. Remember that there is a living embryo in that egg that will be hatched into a chick after incubation. Also make sure that the eggs are put in clean trays and are stored at a normal room temperatures. Which eggs do you choose for incubation? So here is how you select eggs that will give you the highest hatch rate percentage. Number one, make sure that you select only the normal eggs. In terms of the size and the shape, any abnormal sized or shaped eggs should not be used for incubation. The second thing is about avoid the cracked eggs, even if it is a very tiny crack. The, like the hairline cracks, make sure that you do not use it for incubation because the probabilities of hatching are very, very low. The other thing is that do not choose dirty eggs for incubation and also do not wash them because that will only make it worse because the egg contains a protective layer that is uh, found on top of the shell which prevents the entry of bad bacteria or disease-causing bacteria into the egg. Therefore, that is why I am 
strong emphasis on picking the egg as soon as it is laid and making sure that the laying box is clean so that from the word go the egg is not contaminated with the dirt. The other thing is the eggs that will be used for incubation must be 10 days old or less. Eggs that are more than 10 days are usually very low in hatchability and this is because after 10 days of storage the egg loses its ability to hatch. The recommended weight of the eggs to be used for incubation is 58 grams to 61 grams. Now disinfecting eggs helps to boost hatchability of incubated eggs in various ways that I will explain as I discuss the ingredients to make the natural preparation that I promised you in the beginning of this video. So the ingredients that you will need to make this natural preparation include the cinnamon powder, the garlic powder and the ginger powder. And someone may ask why the cinnamon, garlic and ginger powders? You see the cinnamon powder slows moisture loss from the egg and also improves the embryo growth and survival which increases the chances of this egg to hatch. The other thing is that the garlic powder contains allicin which is a very important compound which helps to clear the fungi on the eggshells and also helps to decrease the early and the late embryonic mortalities. So what is this early and late embryonic mortalities? This is when the developing chick which is inside of the egg dies because of lack of the conditions that are favorable for its development and one of the causes of the death of the developing chick during incubation inside of the egg is you know the penetration of this fungi and other bacteria which get through the eggshell which causes death and when you eliminate them by using the garlic powder then you are going to increase the chances of this egg to hatch. Ginger contains antibacterial properties that helps to kill the bacteria that, that are found on the eggshells. Remember as we have said, this bacteria can infiltrate into the eggshells and get into the developing cheek, hence causing death. But when you eliminate them, now the egg can be able to hatch. How are you going to prepare the natural preparation that you are going to spray on your eggs? Here is the procedure that you are supposed to use. The disinfection should be done by two people. One person should handle the eggs that are not disinfected and the other one deals with disinfecting the eggs and placing them into the right place and this avoids recon recontamination after disinfection. After hatching your chicks, the next process is usually brooding. Therefore, I would recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to learn everything about how to brood chicks organically.